Hi, my name is Bart Paulson, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show how to take data that has been entered in Excel in a spreadsheet and to how to import it into SPSS, uh, now known as PASW, a statistics program for analysis. Uh, now, in an earlier uh, tutorial, I showed how I create a data form. I call, you know, it's creating a questionnaire in Word. Uh, I've got a title there. I've got a little statement from my institutional review board about voluntary anonymous confidential participation. Then I have just a few sample questions I put on here. I ask people how old they were, their gender, relationships they might be in, and then I have three questions here that people rate their agreement from a 0 to 10 scale. So I showed that one already. Let me show you what it looks like in Excel. Right here, I first have an ID variable that uh, so I can uh, go back and find a questionnaire if something needs to be checked. Uh, that's, by the way, that's just the number I write on the top of the questionnaire. There's age, and and I left a few, but I made up all of these data, but I intentionally left things blank every now and then to show how to deal with it. And what you do is you just skip it over entirely. Then I have a variable here called female. When I entered the data, I wrote it down as female is one, male is zero. It's called a dichotomous variable, and it's easy to deal with. Uh, for relationship, I had some code, single, swan, marriage, two, and then anything else I wrote it, but I ultimately coded that as whether they were in a relationship, zero for no, one for yes, and then uh, questions one, two, and three are uh, rating scales, agreements, and they go from zero to ten, and I just entered the numbers right there. So now that you have it in Excel, um, the job is to get it out of Excel and into SPSS. Now, I'll let you know... Um, this is my first time importing data from SPSS, excuse me, from Excel uh, 2008 to SPSS PSW version 17 on my Mac, and I experienced some technical errors, but I'll show you how it's supposed to work and how I actually am able to make it work on this computer. All right, so here's what I do. First thing is you need to save the Excel spreadsheet, and uh, I saved it earlier, data form for SPSS, and I've actually got it right here on my desktop. There it is. Um, now, normally what you have to do is you have to close the data file in Excel. It can't be open somewhere else. So I close that, and then I go over to SPSS, uh, now known as PASW. SPSS stands for Statistical Package for the Social Sciences. PASW is for Predictive Analytics Software. They just changed their name, but it's the same program. Now, the way it's supposed to work is you come over here to this little uh, folder. It says Open a Data Document. You click on that and a dialog box should come up. There it is. And open data. Now, you need to tell it what kind of file you're looking for. I saved it as an Excel spreadsheet, so I come down here and I go to Excel and I saved it on the desktop. And you can see it's right there. Data form for SPSS XLS. Normally, it should open this up right away or I'll get a single dialog box that asks, you know, which sheet the data are on and how many. Now, uh, I believe if I press this, I'm going to get an error message. That's fine. I have not been able to figure out why this is happening, but there's a way around it. Um, but normally this would open up, and if you're on a PC, it might still work, so I wanted you to be aware of that. Okay, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to go back uh, to Excel by opening up my data sheet again. Flip. All right, so there it is, and I'm going to save it in a generic format that works really well for uh, exporting and importing. So I'm going to come up here to save as file. So I'm going to save it in a different format because right now it's in an Excel XLS format. See there's the XLS right there. Instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this in the drop down menu. I'm going to come down to this one right here, a tab delimited file dot txt for text. Basically anything in the world can read this. So I'm going to select that one and you can see it's now become txt up here. It's got the same name but a different uh, suffix. And I'm going to hit save. It's going to go to the desktop. Now the thing is, uh, text files can only save one uh, sheet. I've got two sheets here. Um, but since I've got those, I'm just going to go ahead. That's fine. Press OK. All right. I'm going to close that because, again, uh, yeah, I'll save it. And I'm going to go to the desktop. And you see I have the new file right here, data form for spss.txt. Uh, tab delimited text file. So now I'm going to go back to SPSS and I'm going to do this open thing. I click on the folder again and this time I tell it I am looking for a text file. I have to scroll down a little bit. There it is, text. 
and you can see it just appeared right there. Now I'm going to have to go through a little bit of rigmarole to get this in, but it's, it's not a big deal. So I press open, and does it have a predefined format? No, I'm just going to go ahead and hit continue. See here it gives a uh, basic idea of what it looks like. These uh, labels are off be just simply because this one's really long. Press continue. Um, this says that they're separated by a tab, so I leave that. The variable names are at the top. You see this first line, ID, age, so I, I click that, say yes, go to the next one. Each line represents one person's responses. That's true. I want all of them in there. I can imagine you would use these other ones, but you know, we're not going to deal with that. I press continue, and I say that it's a tab that's separating everything. There's no qualifiers. I, I don't even really know what that is. And I press continue and it asks me if the variables are numeric or whatnot. I'm just going to leave that the default and press continue again. Oh, by the way, you can see how it's lining up right here. And save this file format. Would I like to paste the same back? No, 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 whatever. I'm just going to press done. And it does this little magic thingy. And there it is. Now I have a data file. It says ID, age, female. Um, this one's relationship. I'll just drag it and make it a little bit bigger. Q01, Q02, Q03, perfect, we're set. I now have the data entered in here. Now, I want you to notice one thing. Uh, back in the Excel spreadsheet, when I had age and I didn't enter it, it was totally blank. When it comes into SPSS, it puts this little dot there. Now, it is not a decimal place. It's the system missing dot. Um, and so you don't want to mess with it. You just leave it right there, and everything's cool. Now, in another tutorial, I'm going to show, oh, you know what? always always save um, let's put this sample data in SPSS and I'll just save that to the desktop I'm going to save it as an SPSS file and save by the way I would save constantly because uh, in my experience SPSS crashes all the time um, so you want to save after almost every step and by the way so you know in SPSS you have one sheet for the data you have another sheet for something called a syntax, and it keeps a record of what's done. This means that I opened it. This means how I saved it. And then you can have another one. I'm sorry, this is a syntax file. The other one was the output. Anyhow, I'll talk more about this in a minute. But here's the data. The data are entered. The data are in SPSS. I have saved them. I'm going to show how to create what are called labels. Uh, so for instance, the female shows up as male and female instead of zeros and ones. And the relationship shows up as, you know, in a relationship or not, and then that it can code some of these variables. Anyhow, I'll save that for the next one, and I will see you there.